Hey everyone and welcome back, I'm Mr. Stoltz. As we all know, there's an Air Max Day every single year on March 26. We wear our favorite sneakers and it's become a really popular day for sneaker people. Nike also releases new pair of Air Maxes on Air Max Day and I got myself a pair of Air Maxes, the Air Max LD Zero. My shoe is designed by the well-known and famous sneaker legend Hiroshi Fujiwara. And back in 2002, he started HTM with Mark Parker and Tinker Hatfield to come up with some new excellent ideas for Nike. So if we start looking at the box, it's all black, and on the top lid we have a Hiroshi Fujiwara signature in red. On the side of the box, it says HTM Air Max. The H for Hiroshi, the T for Tinker Hatfield, and M for Mark Parker. And on the other side, we had the signature once again, and on the front it reads Air Max LD Zero. I got in a size 11 and the color is obsidian white. On the front it says the official Air Max day of 2016. This box is a little bit similar to a Jordan 11 box. On the front we have a ring and then a little tab and we just pull it out. So let's take it out. Here we got it. Air Max LD Zero. Yes, so my first impression of this shoe is that I like it. Normally, I'm not a really big fan of this model, um, but with this one, with the blacked out air sole unit and the materials used, I really like it. This shoe is really clean, it's elegant, and was designed by one of the greatest. So, let's start talking about it. The front toe box is all blue, or obsidian, and it's made out of nylon. There's a suede overlay on the bottom and towards the upper along the side of the tongue. This shoe comes laced with the obsidian color, but it also comes with black and white laces. The laces are attached to a flywire cable construction and it adds a minimalistic look to it and I really like it. The tongue is made out of soft leather and on the top we have the Air Max logo with the swoosh in the middle. There's a little air sole unit that hangs onto it and in the middle we have the Hiroshi Fujiwara signature. And on the other side it says HTM Air Max March 26, 2016. If we take a look at the side, the majority of the upper is made out of a super soft nylon and it works great with the suede overlays. There's a big white swoosh in the middle and we can most definitely see where he or she got its inspiration from, the LD1000 from the 70s. There's a rubber line that goes all the way around the shoe and it separates itself from the nylon to the air sole unit. The air sole unit is the 2014 version, really comfortable, and it goes all the way around the shoe. I really like that it's blacked out because it creates a really minimalistic and sophisticated look to it instead of just a transparent or clear version. On the back of the air sole unit it says SP16 MNS Run 952 MS Code 245767 Hiroshi. If we take a look at the back we have white on the upper, suede in the middle, the black rubber part and then finally the air sole unit. The Air Max logo has a cork brownish color. If we take a look inside the shoe, on the top we have a white line that goes all the way around it and the same color transitions into the inside of the shoe. The inside is all white leather and we have the information label on the side of the shoe. There's an all black sock liner with a white Air Max logo. On the back side of the tongue we have a Nike statement. If we take a look underneath, we have an environmentally preferred rubber outsole with a waffle pattern. This outsole is great. Whether or not you're running or walking, it has great durability and traction. The squares or dots on the outsole are leveled a little bit differently. So when you run or walk, it grabs the surface a lot better compared to a flat outsole. The outsole is all white except the middle and the four lines at the front. In the middle of the shoe, we have the swoosh. Let's take a close-up look.
Let's see what this year's Air Max looks like on feet. Yes, so that was the new Air Max by Hiroshi Fujiwara. I gotta say that I really love this shoe. It looks great, simple, with a blacked out air sole unit. Everything looks great. The materials feels good. It's great on your feet. It feels good when you're out walking or running. I simply love it. So what do you guys think about this year's Air Max by Hiroshi Fujiwara? Is this one your favorite or is it the Mark Parker one or Tinker Hatfield or maybe someone else? Leave a comment down below and let's talk about it. And I also want to mention a little bit about sizing. I got in a size 11 and it feels great. It's perfect for my foot so I would go true to size. Thanks for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this new Air Max of 2016 by Hiroshi Fujiwara. Hit that subscribe button above and don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. The video on this side is going to be the Adidas NMD City Sock. And on this side is going to be the All-Star 2 Triple Black. Thanks for watching. See you next week.